Hey, so today I want to walk you through how to create a blog or podcast template in Squarespace. This is will work with any version of Squarespace, but the sites that I'm showing you today on are 7.1 sites. So let's jump in. Um, it's super easy, but I just want to kind of, I guess, before we jump in, say why to do this. It's a huge time saver. It keeps things formatted really nicely. And I've decided that I want to do this on my blog. So I'm going to show you as I do it for my own blog. Um, I don't currently do this on my own blog, despite the fact that I have years and years of blog posts in there, but I do have it on my podcast. As you can see here, I have a template and in that template, I have the heading, I have the block where the uh, audio clip goes in um, a little bit for my VA to go in and put a little bit of information and where the show notes are. It's a really simple template, but it's a template nonetheless that I would use every single time. And all I do is duplicate that blog post and then I can go in and edit it and it becomes the next podcast episode for my podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a template for your own blog. So let's do it in my blog here. So let's start by creating a blog post and we're going to call it template and then we're going to design it just however you want your templates to look. So for me, I'm going to have a little bit of text here at the beginning where I discuss, uh, like I introduce, I guess, introduce the topic. And then I'm probably, knowing me, going to need a video. So I'm going to put a video here. You can even go as far as um, formatting the words the way you like them. So just a second, I'm going to hit save here because it's being a little funny and I need to clear my cookies soon. Um, so you can go ahead even and format this, you know, so maybe you want a heading two in here and some extra body. And you can kind of format it there. So there's going to be a video here. I'll probably want to have a little bit of for me, I'll want to say resources I mentioned. You might want to add some pictures in or or those kinds of things. And then what I'm going to do, and I'm gonna put this again to heading two. I'm going to add a spacer in between. And then I'm going to go ahead, add a line. And so the resources, let's, oh, it's freezing up on me again, just a second, okay. So in the resources, I'm going to make some bullet points because this will probably be bullet pointed information. Um, and then I'm going to say, add another text block and say something like, you might also like, and then we're going to make that a heading two, and then we're going to put in a summary block. And so let's go down here. I passed it. There we go. Summary block. And we're going to make this for my blog. You could do it for a shop. It could be for testimonials. It could be for anything. So maybe I want to show off testimonials of my the past work I've done. And I've got these set up as a blog. Um, I could show up for my products, which I might do. But I think right now I'm going to focus on blog the blog. So um. I'm going to design this. So I'm going to say I want it to be a grid. I want to show six blog posts. I want the text to be large. I don't want to show the excerpt. I want them to be square. I'm going to go back in here and turn off the date. And I might actually change this because I think I like it better with three. I'm going to go ahead and change that to three. And now I'm thinking about it. So blog, you're obviously wanting to share the information that the person's there to read or watch for your blog or your podcast, but you might also want to promote your other blog posts or um, use the opportunity to promote some of your products. So I'm also going to put in a section here about my products. So I'm going to say add in another spacer block and then I'm going to add in, let's go with another summary block. It keeps things nice and clean. 
And I could decide here that I want to showcase a specific product, which I'll show, or I can decide if I want to show off all of them. So maybe I want to show off my shop and I want to talk about my three main products here. And that's great. If, but the problem is, so let's go ahead and I can do that. So we can say, again, decide that we want this to be a list or a grid or whatever. Um, and decide how we want to showcase this stuff. Decide if I want to hide the price in the excerpt. And decide if I want it to be a grid. And if I want to only show the same number of three items because they look really nice with the way cross. I can do that. Um, but what I might also want to do, and so say, want a, a custom Squarespace website. Without the so maybe I'll do that and I'll make that a heading three and I'll center it. And then you can always filter these if you have lots of different types of products. So this summary block you can go ahead and filter it. So maybe I only want to filter it by my templates, or maybe I want to filter it by my trainings, which is just my power hours. Um, you can filter them. But the other thing, so let me make sure this is the other thing that you could do is maybe you just want to showcase one specific product or one specific event. You can use a product block. So I can say. Maybe I'll get to the very, very end and say something like, let's go ahead and say something like, want some help perfecting your scores. And then we could go in and add this specific product. So here we go. And then you can see I can format quite a lot about it. I can do even set it so that there's an add to cart button, I can center everything. And then what I'm probably going to do, because this is huge, right, it takes up the entire screen, is that for next to this, I want to add a spacer block. And then I will probably add another one. And that one's moved itself, which is pretty common sometimes in this type of thing. Okay, well, let's see if we can get this one to go where it belongs. If not, I'll delete it and start again. Okay, let's hit save. You can see I designed too many Squarespace websites because there's occasionally little bugs for me. Okay, there we go. And so then we might, there you go. So it's a lot less big, it's a lot less overwhelming. Or maybe what I would do is put this next to the side of it, right? And so there's lots of ways you can format this, but have a think about what works best for you and go ahead and do it. So I probably, you know, I might leave all of these different little sales things in this template and then take a pick as to which ones I want to leave. Cause right now it's a little bit much. It's like, buy the thing, buy the thing, read the thing. But if I leave them all in the template, I can delete the ones that are relevant for the time being or for that blog post. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and save that. And then in the future, when I write a blog post, all I need to do is hit duplicate. And then I can go ahead, put the proper name of the title, um, so real blog title and go ahead and start filling it out and it's all there already brilliantly formatted and ready to go. I hope this really helps you. Have a lovely rest of your day.